welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Evoland. I think I figured it out you guys. Between the episodes I just walked through the forest, just went back to the place where I thought, hmm, how am I going to do this? And like where I ended up with that we don't need to use fire to get past it. We just need to move back in time. I just went back, thought about it, what can I do? So I was just uh, blowing things up. And then it realized me, there's a delay between the bomb placement and explosion. If the bomb can trigger a crystal change, I can just walk over this. Time goes back, I can walk over here, get the chest, put the bomb at that crystal, and go back again. So yes, let's try that out. It has to be it. There it is. <laughs> Sometimes I'm smart and I give myself credit for it. Got the card? Kefka's Ghost. Oh, definitely one I wanted. And we're back again. Beautiful. Okay, so that thing can get straight out of my mind. Alright, let's go over and continue on with our puzzles. Let's get a sword just in case. And we were around the river trying to uh, light all the beacons of Gondor and get to the chest. Because I think all those uh, uh, fireplaces will eventually lead up to one single area. Which of course will be the chest. Which we of course want. I do want to shoot but there's a stone in the way. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I love that sound. You can read the following. Light my fire to open up the entrance. Oh, that's very clear. Just uh, light all the beacons and we'll be there. And this one is easy. Because we already did this. But there was a rock in the way. And this really is the accumulation of all the skills we found. We need to use all of them in order to get through all these puzzles. Can I can I burn this as well? Ah, uh, no, no. I need to get to the other side uh, first. Mm, can we do that? Uh, probably. I see a path on the other side, so I'm pretty sure we can get over it. Just with the last episode, I apologize for any winds you might hear in the background. It has been storming a lot here in Europe lately. There it goes, another fire. Doesn't mean if we shoot up. Yes! <laughs> there was an assumption, a very big assumption, but yes. Oh wait, can we shoot that? Oh, we can shoot that too. And why? Because we can. <laughs> I don't know if uh, switching from one to the other reveals anything here that I couldn't do otherwise. Okay, so there's one. Okay, so we already know how to get in there. Because this one has already been revealed to us. I just want to go to the other way. Just for... Uh, this crystal is inactive. The amulet should be enough to power it. Okay, so there has to be an amulet. This we haven't gotten yet. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be down that puzzle. And of course we can't go through there, cause we need to be small. Fine. So let's do that. Do we need to really go all the way around it? It was a bad choice getting small again. Alright, 
Let's get over it. And this should open up the entrance, I think. Yes, there it is. And now we just need to go back down again. Get that crystal. And then we can go down into the cave. Which I would assume is gonna be an amulet, because... You got Time Traveler. You have switched 12 times between past and the present. Hell yeah, and it's gonna be a lot more as well. Don't worry about that. It's a mechanic we're gonna use all the way, all the time. Just pushing. Okay, not some secret monster suddenly being released. Never mind. <laughs> uh, not this fire boss. It's um. I really don't like you. You know that. Alright, which more of your bony bossers are gonna come here? Beautiful! Alright, two hearts? No, just one. All right, let's see what's in here. You got the first half of the amulet. One of two parts of the amulet. Okay, so where do we need to go through here? Or did I see a broken wall up there? But this game has already made us very distrusting for every wall. So we really do believe that everything needs to be broken. And you got a star. So where's the other half of the crystal? I mean the emblem. Or will this one piece be enough to power everything? Nope. So far, no good. There, I need a sword. Ah, that works as well. Um, will it be enough to power that one crystal or not? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. Cause we were here for to get the complete crystal. Yep. All right. First, check everything before we continue on. We can go there. I see we can burn that tree as well. Or is there? No, definitely not. Um. Okay. see any other way but to this oh wait there's another way here that leads to nothing okay so let's uh, switch size one more time um someone did a real number on this series Yeesh. that really does change uh, our outlook on the entire place This sounds like somebody made a mistake while burning. <laughs> right, 
And the tree is still there, so unless we burn it, we cannot go there. Look around you. So many dead trees. Eva's even started corrupting the sacred grove. We need to hurry to Aogai and talk to my uncle. We must find the second part of the amulet before it's too late. Okay, but what's down here? Except I have not done yet. There's still one chest I need to get. Does me need to do everything again? Not that it was this big, but it's, it's, that's the sheer point of it. <laughs> I wonder if all the burned places are gone. Yep, they're still gone, that's good. So don't have to redo everything, I just need to get back to the place, that's it. Okay, we already got that. done with okay so this one needs still to be burned did we accidentally already burn the other one yes okay so we can do this right I didn't do anything. Really? Okay. So let's get small and try again. Because could be that it's just a sapling that we need to destroy, but we cannot destroy it because we are in the future. It was that. <laughs> okay. So I think that is the one that blocked the path to the south. So that would mean we can now get access to the chest. And that would mean we'll have everything here we want. I mean, then we can go back to our guy to speak with it. See, all is coming together in one singular cohesive plan. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I may be a veteran of RPGs and this may be a blind playthrough, but we'll get to the end and we'll get all the treasure we'll ever want. Of course, there will be a block there, really. And let's hit it. And there it is, the final chest. You got the Keras card, which I really, really wanted. So yes. All right, let's go out south. Because I think that's the shorter distance for us. And let's get back to town. Let's see what I want us to go next. At least for the other half of the pendant. Let's save the game while we're at it. I still hope we'll get a mention of the Chocobo meat we got last time. I used to live in Punika's village. I moved here because growing crops were easier near the mana tree. There must be some powerful evil there spreading the waste. Now look at what my house turned into. We're all doomed! You might be. I used to be an adventurer like you and then took an arrow in the bum. Let's just say I had trouble seeing for a while. I would help you but unfortunately I cannot fight anymore. Good job on finding the first part of the amulet. Now you must go to the ruins of Zarudak to get the second half. You will find the ruins to the northeast of Agai. 
just like that. There was no reason you could tell me this earlier because... I think the one Eris card is not gonna make a difference in the championship match of the car game. So let's continue on. Yeah, the ruins of Saranak to the north or east hold many treasures and dangers. You seem like a nice guy, so I'll give you a discount on any bone mending if you go there. Need healing? Yes. It's, it's a proper discount. We didn't pay anything, so. I say, yay. Alright, you guys are gonna love the fighting uh, screens in this part. Because it reminds me of Mario. <laughs> I don't think I've shown it on any of the episodes yet, but you're gonna see it right now in a moment. See? Definitely, definitely a nod to Mario. If you don't agree, I'll fight you in the street now. <laughs> Alright. We need to go north, so we're gonna check south. Of course, all in search for potentially hidden places. Because hidden place means cards and stars. And that's what we're all about in this game. Alright. I can do much more damage, but I need to be able to heal myself a little bit. And Magic of Curious is definitely uh, up there right now, healing quite a decent chunk of it. Right, no secret areas whatsoever. Which I'm fine with, does make it a lot easier for us. There's a bridge, so probably where we need to be. And it's actually, I'm almost afraid to admit it, but the Zumbas, Goombas, I didn't get that reference before. <laughs> Alright. Is there anything else? Because one place probably going to lead to the ruins that we need to be, and the other one will lead to the place where we need to be after we go to the ruins. So will we go the right way? Level 10. Life has increased. Life has increased as well. Cave doesn't mean you're the runes, or you're just a cave leading to the runes. Beautiful. We're gonna heal one more time. Yes, perfect distribution. Ruins of Zardnak. Okay, this is where we need to be. It's okay, let's see if we can find the other half. It does sound a lot more ominous than the Sacred Grove. You got character selection. Too bad you can't insert cone here for two player. Okay, so doesn't mean each will have their own uh, abilities. Let's check it out. We need to check Keras out anyway. <gasps> Inventory. <gasps> Holy shit, look at all the spaces. No, no main menu. Can we change characters as well or did I just... Fudge it up and now we are stuck with this. 
Not that I mean stuck with Karis, but... Enemies are now dropping money as well. Okay, this is a giant increase. Because uh, this means we're gonna get a lot more money out of this. I'm almost feeling stupid that I grinded a bit to get the DVD player. Because we're already at 5,000. Well, we definitely gonna have enough cash for the card now at the end of this. Ring of. Oh, this is really going to a dungeon crawler loot uh, horror game. I love it. Necklace of Eagle. Automatically equipped. Beautiful. So just keep on fighting. You got chained combo hits at the end of each slash to unleash powerful combos. So what does this thing mean? Or is it just random objects in this level? Alright, I'm already loving this. There's a part of me that wish we could also change character, because I think a blade would be a lot better here. <gasps> Never mind! I'm satisfied now. <laughs> Magical combo uh, and uh, finishers. Get it! <laughs> Come on, give me more enemies. You got life bar. You're no longer restricted to quarter of hair hearts. Ooh, that's d that reminds me a lot of uh, Torchlight, and probably a whole slew of other uh, top-down dungeon games, probably Diablo and other things like that as well. Torchlight, first thing that came up to my mind. What would come up to your mind when you see this? I, I would I would scarcely say uh, Diablo. Because that's basically the king of all those uh, adventurers. <gasps> Big. Risgard of Gestar. And of course the overly convoluted names. Uh, you got ambient light. The ambient light will vary depending on the place you are. But yeah, as I was saying, the convoluted names of uh, items just uh, that you can get in uh, dungeon crawlers like this. I love this so far. Just going through dungeons, scrounging up rewards, building up your stats at the same time. course the biggest reward we're gonna get when we're through here which is of course the second half of the pendant I do need to be careful because I do tend to use a lot of potions when I'm in dungeons like this and I don't know if we have easy access to those in this uh, way because I don't see my potions anywhere Yeah, the ambient light is really working out. You got dynamic lighting. Oh yeah, time to play fireworks with your weapon. Nice. Like a proper big dungeon crawler, eventually you get the feeling you're getting lost. <gasps> oh god, no. Um... I hate those wizards, no matter what form they come in. Alright, 
we need another way of healing ourselves. Let's save it here at least. Game saved. Is there no, uh, no wellspring or anything like that? Or that. Because <laughs> uh, we are really running a bit low. You got minimap. Turn left at the next corner. Beautiful. I always love a good minimap. Give me healing. I need healing. You're very weak. But you can give me some health back. Probably fix which item we get where. So at the end of it, we all are fully equipped. You got the Superstar of Evil Land. Oh, for finding a certain amount of stars. Okay, I was thought that this was a special star, but it's just a normal one. Alright, so I'm guessing this is uh, continuing forward, so I won't do want to go back a bit because there was still a little bit of a corner that I hadn't checked yet. And once we're done with this, uh, I do not want to go back to all those mages. Because they suck. 300% damage to stones and walls. Mythical creatures. 2% dodge chance. Grinding speed. Backstab damage. Fire resist. Yeah. All like uh, jabs at the RPG's armor. Okay, a small corner here. I think that's the corner I haven't done yet, so... No! Okay, perfect. Recovery moment. And again, a lot of money. Ring of luck. Uh, five chance to get an item you could actually use. <laughs> and turn it used into a dragon. 12 months cooldown. Okay, we're gonna use this once at the end of the game or something. I do want to be a dragon, but only the end boss uh, is worth it if I need to wait 12 months to do it again. Because I'm not going to release my next video in 12 months, I'm just going to finish this. You got the card, double. Double trouble. Um, yes. Okay, so when there is no line on the wall, it's a potential... Ah, no bombs. Uh, way off the beaten track. I think that skull we saw on the map is probably where the boss of this level is gonna be. And of course, after the boss, we're gonna get the second half of the amulet. We'll be able to make it through this entire dungeon. Will we be able to beat the boss? Will we be able to get the amulet of uh, whatever it was called? Okay, let's save again while we're here. Our HP looking really good right now. I really do believe that the mages were again the one that uh, were draining with the most HP. You got multiple kills. For when you are in a killing frenzy, state of mind. The mean bonus? More money. I really need to look for a new controller. My X button is starting to uh, get stuck. Beautiful. Multi kill. Damn, we're almost at the cash that I need for a specialty card. Keep on killing and I keep on killing. <laughs> knee pads, sorry. 10% uh, loot gathering speed. What was the other one I thought? Nah, I think that was it. Cool. 
Come on, enemies, get out of your dank holes and face me. I need more loot. I need more money. Here. Yeah, pincer them. Pincer them into this hole. Oh, don't pincer me. <laughs> Old Druck Hill. Alright, there's no healing here to take you all down. Yeah, there's a lot of items. Uh, let's check out what they are. We got the Don't Ask Flame Giant Pinky Cover of the Pony. <laughs> uh, helmet of Twilight, State of the Art Solar Powered Helmet, grants night vision to his wearer. Uh, Spirit of Avenger, feeling adventurous. <laughs> Which I truly do. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Tyrannical Gladiator Creeps. Damage versus other players. These pens will prove your worth. Look at all the rats. Without the dynamic lighting, it would have been as impressive as it is right now. Uh, Boots of Veil Undersoul. Tend to hit and run tactics for when the boss is just too strong. Guardian Angel. Revives you with 20% health when you are killed by a unicorn. Oh, I'm so hoping the boss is going to be a unicorn. You got a star. And a star was born. Alright. So many potential monsters everywhere. Unstoppable. Yes, I am. Uh, Diamond Necklace of Shiny Bling. You just became the first gangsta <laughs> fantasy hero. Hell yeah. You know I can be gangsta if I want to. Uh, Ring of Bovine Mastery. Damage against cows. Uh, you never know when that's gonna come in handy. You got heavy furs. You looted 20,000 gliss. Yes, on the bands of Unshakable. 250 to fear resistance. Warm and comfortable too. Okay, four more items and then we'll have everything. Which, of course, knowing us, we definitely want everything. Of course, killing spree. I kill everything in sight. Right, there's a big part in the middle. I don't know if it's a fully rock formation or is there a part of it I can climb on? Just gonna have a slight little tour around it, just in case. They're gonna check what the hero relic is all about. Uh, <laughs> 0, 0.00 critical hit chance. Well, it is a chance, even if it is very low. Save point? Yes, save point. Alright. And I'm sorry to say, I'm gonna end this again on another cliffhanger. Cause we know the boss is coming up, 
we have three more items left. We still got a bit of walking to do, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna get that. And then we're gonna see if we can fight it. And of course get the second half of the amulet so we can go back to Sid. And see if we can get ahead in the story. Or if we need to do another fetch quest. Alright, so hope to see you all again of course on the next episode. But until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye bye.